Hi guys, my name is Tom Cat, and we are back for a brand new video in Forza Horizon 4 today where we are going to be unlocking the TVR Tuscan S. Now the reason why you're staring at a Porsche Panamera right now, well you could be doing one of two things. You could either be looking at it or you could be looking at it and and having an allergic reaction to it because some people really don't like the looks of this car. But um, we are going to be using it to unlock the Tuscan S, and I will show you why in just a minute. Now, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to throw some upgrades on it. Now, it is very high A-class already. It's like very, very high A-class. And I believe that the... Let me just make sure that I haven't gotten my numbers wrong when I say that I think the PI limit for this event is A800. I want to say that it's A800. Fortunately, it's right up the road from where we are. And it is A800. All right, so we're like, we're damn close to that. So we don't really have a lot of room to with upgrades. Like we don't really have a lot of like wiggle room, so to speak. But we're going to do a little bit and we're going to do mods that don't affect PI that much, but actually help the car drive better um things like a flywheel and you know a couple of little suspension improvements here and there like sway bars um but we'll see what, what, what it'll actually let us do within the span of like the 11 pi that we have to work with now we won't be able to go after the tires unfortunately but we will be able to go after said flywheel and i mean i'm sure this thing comes with decent ish tires already you can't do the brakes because they are race already. You can do the race suspension, though. And let me see if we could do just a very basic tire upgrade. I mean, I wonder what tires it comes with. Okay, yeah, no. So it comes with sports right now. So if we put if we put races on it, it goes up. So, let, ooh, what do we have in the back right now? What's factoring the back? A 315? Well, to improve turn-in, let's throw a 305 up front. I mean, hell, I, why would you not? So, let's see what else, because we're going to need to... Oh, God. All right, that adds a lot more than I thought. Um, I don't... I'm not going to throw the wing on this car. We're not going to need it. And then, conversion stuff, we're not going to need that either. Now, I do want to throw a set of wheels on it, because I kind of don't like the wheels that are on it right now. Um, and, plus, that'll even out the PI and basically just, basically just finish us off right where we need to be. So, those ADV1s look good. Definitely gives it a meaner stance, a more aggressive look. We're... Wait a minute. Why are we back at $7.99? Boy? What are you doing? That says A800. That ha says A799. Who's right? Honestly, I don't know who's right on this one. I really don't. I'm just gonna buy the mods that we went for, and... Like, one thing is saying A800, the other thing is saying A799. Maybe it will even out after we buy the mods. I'm not sure. No, it still says 799. That's so weird. Oh, well. Regardless, let's go ahead and now that we've got the race suspension, let's dial in a little bit of a tune, just make this thing a little bit less understeer happy, and then we'll go up there and we'll do that particular championship on Expert. Now, the reason why is because Expert is what it calls for, but the nice thing about Expert is that it's actually not that difficult. So, we're going to add a little bit more positive cam... Or, sorry, wow, positive? Really? We're going to dial in a little bit more negative camber in the front, and we're going to, let's see, drop the ride height and stiffen the rear end just a little bit. Stiffen the rear end just a little bit. And that is about all we're going to mess with. Let's do it. Panamera Turbo. See, now it says A800. That's so weird. It said 799 even after I bought all the stuff. Has that ever happened to any of you guys? Because I, like I feel like that's never happened to me personally. I, I don't remember having that issue ever occur. Now, I will say, dude, okay, so I was at a Forza event like a while back and I got to ride in one of these like brand new uh, Panamera Turbo uh, Panamera Turbos on the track, and it was insane. I mean, I know a lot of people they knock on the on the Panamera. They're like, "Oh, it's not a real Porsche. It's not a 911. This, that, and the other thing." They are fast as hell, and they will outlaunch a GTR from a dig. They're, I, I, they'll either outlaunch a GTR or hang with a GTR from a dig. No questions asked. I'm pretty sure my difficulty is either expert or a little higher than expert. I didn't check. That was probably a mistake, but you know what? We're going to run with it. 
Hi, I don't really care about smashing into you because this is not an online race, and y'all are AI. Get through the water real quick. Things all wheel drive, so it doesn't really it doesn't really bog down all too much when you get in the water, which is nice. The are you what the? I can't believe I didn't see him. I was so like I was letting myself be so fixated on the M5 and the Audi that I just completely disregarded that traffic car, which is not what you want to do. Oh God! All wheel drive. Make use of it. Hell, we might be able to claw something back. Go, 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 go! Let it flow through the corners. Now, I've been, I've been driving that little Lotus 211, and that thing is a totally different animal than this car. This car is a big boy. 100%. It's big, it's heavy, but it has really good driving dynamics for something of this size. And, oh, jeez. Woo, boy. Is that an RS7 up there? Makes sense if it is. Excuse me, Mini. Yes. Your early braking is my... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, too hasty. Way too hasty. Wow. I could have made something happen there had I not been that hasty with it. Reeling him in now. See, the approach you have to actually take is to be patient, and sometimes I get a little impatient, and that does not work as a strategy, ever. Oh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, like I said, I'm okay with, like doing that to him because he's an AI, but I mean, of course I would never do that online, but I kind of like to screw around with the AI cars just because they're, oh God, just because they're kind of, they're there, but at the same time, you're not really screwing up their race by doing it. I mean, I feel like I don't really have to be fair to them, but that is a win of the first race. On our way, we have two more, and then that TBR Tuscan will be ours. Now, see, now it says 799. That's so weird. It said 800 a second ago. Well, not even a second ago, but like in the other menu. This car is like, I don't think it's actually technically glitched, but God, that's so strange. Street Sweeper, the Highland Charge. Continue championship. Let's go. I was going to make a joke about that M5's rod bearings, but I went off the road before I had a chance to make it. Easy does it. There we go. Wow, that was, that was beautiful. That was perfect. I want that to be how I take that corner that exact same way from now on. That, that needs to be how I take that corner from now on. Rewind won't work! I was pressing Y. It was like, press Y to rewind. And I'm like, I am. I am. Laying on the power. Be a little conservative through there and then power on out. I didn't want to go off there because that is a bad place to go off. Keep it under control. Oh my God. Just a nudge, just a nudge, just a nudge. That's it. <laughs> oh, there's our win. And for some reason, the rewinds didn't work. Didn't really matter, but they still didn't really work. All right, on to the next one now. This one is gonna, this is gonna be interesting because this will be the last one, but I, I wonder if it's going to have like a rewind issue or some kind of like glitch or be strange or something. I have no idea what difficulty I'm on. I have absolutely no clue. It's either expert or higher. I know it's either export or e e export. Um, I export video files. Let's just make sure we're on at least pro expert. Okay, go power out, power out. You can really rev this thing out. Even though it is turbocharged, it really can, like, you can lay into the revs. All right, top three in my sights. Let's go. Got a big braking zone coming up. Coming up on that M5 and hard on the brakes. Second gear. Easing it in up the inside. 
Got a pair of RS Audis. Going for that slingshot. Come on. Oh, come on, Porsche. Come on. They forced me out of that. Damn. I'll give them credit. They, they pulled a good move. Oh. They may come back. Yeah. I was going to say, like, that move back there wasn't really that good. I got a little bit more rotation than I was initially anticipating, which therefore wasn't quite as fast, but took a decent line through that. Whoa! 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 One of the closest traffic moments I've ever had goes to that one right there. Wow! Stupidly close. Tap of brakes. There she goes. Now we can really stress, uh, or stretch, not stress, stretch the legs of this Panamera Turbo. You do have to slow down quite a bit in corners, though, with this thing, especially off-camber corners. You really, like, I mean, you can tell it's heavy. You can tell it's big and heavy, that's for sure. But we are coming up on the finish line, and this should be our ticket to our TVR Tuscan. So let's go ahead and flip it around backwards. And actually, that's a really cool camera angle with the wing up. But that should be an unlock for our, uh, our TVR Tuscan. So let's see. Street Sweeper complete. Let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Done. And TVR Tuscan unlocked. So now, let's see. Well, we got a wheel spin too, so I guess we're going to be doing that. Oh, and CR reward unlocked as well, so 15,000 credits. So that 15 plus the 16 for the event that we just did. All right, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. All right, so let's see 2001 TVR Tuscan S. So let's go ahead and grab it, and we definitely have to drive it at least a little bit, just because... Like, I can't, you know, I can't show you guys how to unlock the car and then just not drive it at all. That would be, that would be horrible. I, I, that would be horrible of me. Holy crap. Now that I think about it, like, that would frustrate me. Like, if I was watching the video and I was like, and we got to the end, you know, got it unlocked and everything, and then I was like, thanks for watching, goodbye, I would be like, are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? No, there's another part that needs to be in this video. All right, TVR, boys. 2001 Tuscan S. Yes, I would like this car delivered to me. Now, we're not going to do any mods to the Tuscan S in this video, but we are going to drive it around, take it for a little bit of a run, take it for a little bit of a test drive, and see what it's like to drive. Spins in a second. Look at that dash. Oh my god. Gives you a little bit of rotation. Let's see how it drifts in stock form. Oh, it doesn't have a lot of steering angle. All right, all right, all right, all right. I need to not be used to, uh, like, what the hell? Okay, um, let's not do that either. Because there I just plowed straight through it. So I gotta, I gotta remember, this is a normal car with normal steering angle. Not FD steering angle. Wow. Okay, so like once you get the uh, the steering angle part kind of out of your head, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, again, I love this interior though. Like this interior is so nuts. And that, that old, old school um, speedometer. But you know what's interesting? They think you need two. You have an analog speedometer and a digital one, but no revs. That's so weird. I'm just now thinking about it. I'm like, they show you your speed, but they're like, nah, you don't need revs. We'll just show you your speed twice. Like what? Why? Why? Why would you show me my speed twice? Like, I would rather have, you know, well, okay, put it this way. The logical person in me 
would rather... Oh my god, y'all are like running into that house. Logical person in me goes, well, why would I have speed twice over when I could have like one showing me speed and one showing me revs? But at the same time, it's a it's a TVR and just you just don't question it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of it. And if this video helped you out, then please do consider subscribing. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.